Here we have a leaky hose bib, or seal cock if you want to be fancy about it. There are a few steps in getting this switched out, but one obstacle I'm trying to wrap my head around before I even start is how am I going to secure the hose bib to the brick. The original installer used mortar and it held up well for 18 years as you can see here, but I know I'll make a mess of it if I try mortar. So a few options I considered were quick creets construction adhesive and or a hose bib anchor. The Fix It Guy YouTube channel had two great videos showing these options. He goes into much detail on how to install it and how well it works. I encourage you to check those out if you're considering those options. But in the end, I decided to go with a Bib Buddy from Lowe's. You can also find these on Amazon and I'll leave a link down in the description. In order to install the Bib Buddy, we'll need a 3 16 Tapcon drill bit, a 5 16 hex bit for the mounting screws, a 3 30 seconds drill bit for the pilot holes, and a drill and driver. The Bib Buddy comes with a Bib Buddy, two Tapcon concrete anchors, two mounting screws, two washers, and the instructions. The first thing I do is get the Bib Buddy positioned as straight as possible so I can mark where the Tapcon pilot holes will go. My Silcock did come with this angled back plate. The purpose is to ensure that you're installing it at an angle so the water flows towards the spigot instead of back into the pipes. However, since my hole in the wall wasn't straight, I cannot use this. Drill locations are marked and we're ready to begin drilling. You want to make sure you drill your hole 1 4 inch deeper than your tap con. So here I'm lining up my tap con on my drill bit and adding tape. That way I know when I'm deep enough. You get the luxury of watching jump cuts during this drilling, but it took longer than it should have because I had the drill on setting 1. Apparently setting 2 is 200 times faster. Here I started to mark the locations for my pilot holes. In hindsight, this was the right move, but decided last minute to mount the plate first. Next I wanted to add some caulk to the hole, that way I wouldn't have to add any above the bib buddy and on the brick, which would have been hard to keep clean. However, I think I jumped the gun because I still had some figuring out to do. I'm always amazed at how well these tap cons hold. This thing isn't going anywhere. This is where it got a little tricky. Now that I've been through it, I'll give you a tip. It's better to line up your hose bib to the hose bib buddy at your workbench well before installing it. The hose bib design doesn't allow enough room to drill straight pilot hose, so you have to mark first, then drill. Now, for some reason, I'm getting caught up on something and the hose bib won't go all the way in, so I'm going to have to back out the tap cons to give me a little play to work with. Another obstacle I've ran into is once the bib buddy was anchored in, my mounting holes aren't lining up. I'm also just realizing the hole on the outside of the house and the hole on the inside of the house do not line up perfectly, which is causing me to not be able to get my hose bib flush against the mounting plate. At this point, my mounting hole was so far off, I had to redrill a new hole. Due to the issues I had, the seal cock is not perfectly flush against the plate, and it's slightly twisted, but the main thing is it's very secure. The Bib Buddy made this setup very stout, which was the main goal. I've added some caulk, and I'll clean it up a bit. I'll get the rest off after it dries. But all in all, I'm very happy with the project's results.
If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button. In a future video, I'll show you the whole plumbing process, which includes an indoor hose bib as well as a water shutoff. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you on the next one.